Today I'm going to be showing you a couple ways to increase the performance on your MacBook or any Mac that's running OS X Maverick. Um, so we're gonna I have 10 little 10 things you can do to speed up the performance. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using the search here because it's it just seems a lot quicker to navigate, especially for beginners that don't know where all these things are. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is repair disk permissions. So let's go to disk utility. Just click it right there. And then click on the drive. And we're going to verify disk permissions. Now, if you've never done this before, it can take a little while, or if you have a platter drive instead of a solid state, that can also determine how long it will take. So, well, it's going to be less than a minute here. Now, if anything needs to be repaired, these two will be um, bolded and not grayed out. And obviously, when it stops verifying, you can hit repair or repair disk permissions whichever whatever the case may be for that okay well while that's going um, one another thing is empty your trash bin um, some of you may have a lot of information in here you don't need it you deleted it to begin with so just empty your trash Okay. Well, since it's still verifying the disk permissions, um, another thing you can do is turn off your Bluetooth. If you're not using your Bluetooth, you don't need to have it on. It's using resources. So just type blue or Bluetooth into the search function and click Bluetooth file. Oh, not Bluetooth file exchange. System preferences Bluetooth. Okay. It's on, I'm not using it, so just turn it off. Okay, Bluetooth has been disabled. Okay, disk permissions have completed. It does not say repair disk, but you can repair the disk permissions. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and not do that, but feel free to, it will help the performance of your Mac. Okay, which brings us to our next step. Turn off internet sharing. You may actually be sharing your internet and you don't even know it. So let's make sure that that is turned off. Let's just go to sharing. And go to internet. Internet sharing is off. If it's on, just turn it off because that'll save you a lot of system resources and it will stop people from connecting to your machine as well. Okay. Turn off animations on your dock. Uh, that does take quite a bit of system resources. There are some different programs you can use to take the shading off, take the animations off. Um, but the default way is just to go to System Preferences, go to your dock, uncheck Animated Opening Applications, and yeah, put it to Select a Scale, Scale Effect. Okay. Also, another thing that does take quite a number of system resources, if you have changing backgrounds, it's pulling up high-res pictures to display the background. Um, so I usually tell it to stop changing the background and just pick one. So let's go to Screensaver. Desktop and Screensaver. Go to desktop, change every change picture every five minutes, just disable it. And if you actually want to 
have a little better performance, I would just pick a solid color. Um, try to go with a dark gray, light gray. You may want to go online and check to see um, what sucks up most power on your screen, whether it's LCD, DLP, whatever. Okay. Which brings us to our next thing, updates. Make sure everything is up to date. So click the almighty Apple and then software updates. If it gives you any updates to do, make sure you get them done. Okay, brings us to our next thing, browsing history. Go into whatever browser you use the most. For instance, here we have Safari. Then go to history, clear the history. Also reset top sites, yes, just clear it all. Okay, um, another thing you may want to do is go through whatever's on your desktop, see if you can clean it up a little bit, and also go into applications and check to see if there's anything that you don't need anymore. I don't want that anymore. Okay, it's required. Yeah, I keep mine pretty clean. But at any rate, go through it, see what you don't use anymore, and make sure you delete it. Okay, now there are a lot of programs that start up automatically when you first turn on your machine and log in under your user. Um, in the Windows world, we kind of change it in MS Config and start up. Um, for, for Mac, though, it's under the groups, users and groups. So let's just go to users. There we go, users and groups. And let's just go login items. Okay, right here we have Steam starting up right away. We have iTunes Helper starting right away and Boink Manager starting right away. Okay, let's get all those out of there. I don't want those starting up when I first log in. Okay, so we went through turn off internet sharing, turn off Bluetooth, turn off animated dock, avoid animated desktop, with the screen saver, the desktop changing pictures, changing it to a solid color, making sure updates are going, deleting your browser history, uh, checking your startup for your users and your groups, deleting applications that are no longer needed, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I hope this helps you guys, and I hope it speeds up your performance a little bit when using a Mac. Thank you, and have a nice day.